Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 12, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So first, I want you to understand that when they say line segments, that just means how many sides. So on this one, where it says four, there's one, two, three, four sides. So there's four line segments. That's all that means, okay? So on this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all that means, okay? Even when they're funky shaped, it's just the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight sides, okay? You guys go ahead and do number four. Now, open or closed is pretty obvious. This one has an opening. It is open. Guess what the other one is? Closed, okay? Carl wants to show a closed shape in his drawing. Show and explain how to make the drawing a closed shape. So, how would I close this? What is one way that I could close this? So one way is that I could do this. Okay, that would make it. Another way is that, ignore the blue line that I just drew, and I could have made it, it wouldn't have that blue line, but it would still be a closed shape because the sides all meet. Okay, all right, so go ahead and ex show and explain. Explain that in words. You guys can totally do that. The shape of a fish pond at the park is shown below. Is the shape open or closed? Well, there's no openings there, so it is closed. Okay, all right, we're gonna go over on to the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always, and we're gonna go down and do the spiral review. This says, what multiplication sentence does the array show? So we have one, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four times eight is 32. Okay. What is the unknown factor and quotient? So factor here, quotient here. Quotient is the answer to a division problem. And a factor is just one of the one of the numbers in a multiplication sentence that's not the answer. Okay? So nine times what is twenty-seven or twenty-seven divided by nine? Well that's just three. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna go down here and it says what fraction is equivalent to four eighths? Okay? So each one of these are one eighth. So I'm gonna go, there's one eighth. 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, right there, well that's half of this circle. So 1 half is equivalent. Okay, we could also say 2 fourths. Okay, you guys know how to do that now. All right. Mr. McTavish has 30 students from his class going on a field trip to the zoo. He is placing six students in each group. How many groups of students? So, six times blank equals 30, or 30 divided by blank, uh, or divided by six equals blank, either way, okay? So, six times five is 30, so five groups. Make sure we leave a word answer for our word problem, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 12.1. Come on back for 12.2. See you soon.